included in the scope of delivery is a high-capacity interchangeable shell with a capacity of 180 BBs. A pre-assembled frag grenade with the standard shell, which holds 140 BBs, and replacement tensioners in two different hardness levels. The Bugatti Frag Grenade is available in four different colors, green, black, red, and yellow. Each variant comes with two shells. Each grenade is delivered with two different interchangeable shells. Before disassembling the grenade, make sure it is not pressurized. Once you have pulled the safety pin, the triggering mechanism should remain down. This indicates that the grenade is not pressurized. Now, loosen the six screws that connect the shell segments. You will need a small crosshead screwdriver for this. After removing the screws, you can pull apart the two shell segments. This may require some force. If necessary, you can use a pointed object to help with the separation. However, be careful not to damage the plastic. Between the two shell segments, you'll find the rubber tensioner that holds the BBs inside. Be sure not to lose it. Let's compare the high-capacity shell with 180 BBs to the standard shell with 140 BBs. For proper assembly of the shell segments, the pressure container has a notch that prevents twisting during reassembly. Make sure they fit together correctly. Place the rubber tensioner in the designated notch. Now, you can place the remaining shell segment and press it firmly together. Tighten the six connecting screws again. When screwing them in, make sure there are no significant gaps and only tighten the screws by hand. To make the grenade ready for operation, you need to fill it with propellant gas and BBs. Before filling it, Ensure that the safety pin is properly seated and keeping the triggering mechanism in the lower position. Fill the grenade with the appropriate propellant gas. The filling valve is located at the bottom. To fill it, turn the grenade upside down. Now, load 6 mm BBs into the marked filling opening. Always point the opening away from the body while filling. Since the rubber tensioner is between the two shell segments, after filling, three BBs will remain unsecured. They can either stay there or be shaken out. Now, the grenade is prepared and secured for use. To disarm the grenade, pull out the safety pin completely. When disarming, make sure the opening points away from the body. Once you've pulled the safety pin, the triggering mechanism should pop out. This indicates that the grenade is under pressure. Now, the grenade is ready to be thrown. To perform maintenance and cleaning, we need to disassemble the grenade. Before you begin, make sure the grenade is not pressurized. Once you have pulled the safety pin, the triggering mechanism should remain down. Now, loosen the six screws that connect the shell segments. After removing the screws, you can pull apart the two shell segments. This may require some force. Between the two shell segments, you'll find the rubber tensioner that holds the BBs inside. Be sure not to lose it. If the shell has any impurities, you can clean it in its disassembled state with soapy water, a brush, and a cloth.
Allow it to dry thoroughly before reassembly. The same applies to the pressure container. You can unscrew the bottom of the pressure container counterclockwise using an 8mm hex key. Now, you'll see the triggering mechanism inside. It's only plugged in. Press it down to remove it. You can also unscrew the upper lid of the pressure container counterclockwise. In the upper lid, you'll find a black radial shaft seal and a 27mm x 1.5mm o-ring. Ensure that the metal surface and rubber parts are free from impurities and damages and have sufficient lubrication. For lubricating the parts, we recommend using silicone grease. In the lower lid of the pressure container, there is a blue radial shaft seal and two 29.2 mm x 2 mm o-rings. Repeat the procedure here. If the seals, as shown in the example, are damaged, replace them. Thoroughly clean the area before installing the new seal. Lubricate the seals again with silicone grease. After inspecting, cleaning, and lubricating all parts, you can reassemble the grenade. Hand tighten all threads so that the seals are not excessively compressed or the threads are damaged. The triggering mechanism also has an O-ring in the upper section, 8mm x 1mm. Check, clean, and lubricate it as well. On the bottom, there is a steel ball. Check if the spring has sufficient tension and there are no impurities. The outlet opening must be visible in the open area. For correct assembly of the shell segments, the pressure container has a notch that prevents twisting during reassembly. Ensure that these parts fit together correctly. The rubber tensioner is available in two different hardness levels. Place the tensioner in the designated notch. Check it for wear before doing so. Now, you can place the remaining shell segment and press it firmly together. Tighten the six connecting screws again. When screwing them in, make sure there are no significant gaps, and only tighten the screws by hand. Press the triggering mechanism down and secure it with the safety pin. Fill the grenade with a small amount of appropriate propellant gas to check the sealing. 